Hey folks, got a good one for you. I was going to show you some interesting back combinations with chains, bands and stuff like I did with the uh, the chest situation. We're going to get to that probably next. Got to show you this one. I absolutely gassed myself. I can't move right now. Took me about an hour, hour, ten minutes yesterday. Took me, uh, I probably did it in about 75 square feet. If you think I'm lying, I'm going to show you why I'm not lying to you. I'm going to show you why home gyms can work. You just got to put out enough effort to get a couple apparatus to make them work. Okay? What I did is, I did a total body circuit. And I know before you hear this, you're going to go, circuits, yeah, they're nice and they're fun. And no, 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 no. This is different. Everybody does it to their own level. Me, I choose to absolutely stagger myself with these things. Everybody is going to have their own levels, so I'm not going to tell you the amount of weight that I use for my deadlifts. It doesn't matter what I use. I would use a lot less than somebody who can deadlift 1,200 pounds for a single rep maximum. I might be using a lot more than what you're going to use. So I'm not saying anything. What I would suggest is find your single rep maximum, like I've indicated before, on your deadlifts. This is the one major weighted exercise in this circuit work at about 70 to 85 percent of your single rep maximum. I'm going to of course post this too so everything will be written it'll come clear when you read the post but watch watch what I'm going through right now okay 70 to 85 percent I am up around that 86 percent range with the two and a half minute rest I'm old they kill me it's up to you I started off with my push-ups here's my rock there's my rock. You've seen it before. Here it is. Started off with my chain flies. Okay? Boom. Down. Showing you flies. Here we go with the flies. I'm not going to give you a huge demo because I'm gassed. Start with your flies. About a minute and a half between sets. Okay? Go to failure. Minute and a half. Go to failure. Minute and a half. Failure. Minute and a half. I performed four sets of them. If I really feel like I can't do any more for that fourth set, I don't even do it. Then I waited about probably three minutes. Then I went to push-ups on the chains. Okay? Same structure. Gas yourself. Minute and a half rest. Gas yourself. Minute and a half gas. Minute and a half. If you can do four, great. If you can't, you only need three, that's fine. Then I took about a three minute rest. And then what I did is, and you can see how this is all being done in about uh, 30 square feet, right? Then what I did is, I took my deadlift, I, I go to my deadlifts. I'm feeling lousy by now already in the upper body, but now I'm going to go to my deadlifts. My one weighted exercise that really, really determines how good or bad the circuit is going to trash you for the next three or four days. I use a diamond bar. You can use a straight bar. It doesn't matter. Here's where I do my deadlifts, right here, keep my good form, down, up. Again, the key with these deadlifts are, don't pick a weight that you can do 50 times. That takes you a minute and a half or two minutes to get to failure. Don't do it, okay? You're supposed to be hitting muscular failure in that 45 seconds to a minute range. That's why I'm suggesting, depending on your physical shape, your general fitness, you're probably going to be able to work at least at 70% range, okay? People who are just starting out, whatever, find out where you need to be. But if it's going to work, this isn't going to be fun. What's going to be fun is how proud you're going to be feeling when you're done. It's not going to be fun when you're doing it, and it's not going to be fun for the next two or three days after, okay? After my deadlifts, back to the good old rack, okay? Let me just get rid of this deadlift bar now. Okay, back to the rack. Now, I haven't shown you guys and girls this one. Pull-ups. You've probably all been on a rolling machine before. You've probably all used cables before. Flat. Okay, flat. Up you come. Down. Nice, slow movements. Don't let those chains jiggle too much. Right down. Get up there. My hips are not moving. My butt is not dropping. Up. You notice I've got a side grip going there. You might want to alter 
and go with an over grip, pronated grip. When you do that, elbows tend to flare out a little more, working a lot more mid trap and rhomboid. When those hands are neutral position like that, you're getting in a lot more lat and forearm. Mix it up. You're going to find that that overgrip with those flared elbows is a much, much tougher, tougher movement. If you're saying you can't do that, you could be right. Watch this. Start off wherever. Look, my feet are planted. Look, my butt's nearly on the ground to start. Look. There. If you need to start there, you start there. Whatever. The beauty of these chains is you can go wherever you need to go to start and then progress it and progress it. By this time in your workout, getting pretty aggressive, don't go a minute and a half. You're going to need probably a minute 45 or two minutes. If you're good to go in a minute, it's because you're not working hard. Probably minute 45. Then what I did is, I went back to the rack, I put the bar up here, very lightweight, lightweight, because in this case what I did was, I take my bar, I do my squats. I go till about 60% failure, and then what I like to do is, I like to get down into a squat hold, right there. I know that I got the pins right there. I go until I completely fail. And in this case, now you got the shakes going, you feel awful. Come back in a minute for these. It's just a silly little one, but it'll really put a finishing touch on things. Then my last one was dips. Back to the rack. I, of course, I move everything out of the way. Okay? Don't let the fact that you don't have any dipping bars stop you from doing dips. Probably one of the best exercises out there. Alright? There's your dips. Two bars. That's all you need. Okay? Boom. Now, if body weight is a little bit easy for you, what I do is, I grab a dumbbell, put it between my feet, hold on, and come up with it. By this point in time, you're probably going to need a minute 45, maybe even two minutes between sets. I'm going to write it on my post, completely trash myself in about 50 square feet. Get innovative. Make the jump. If you're not happy with the gym you're at right now, or you want to change, this works, bit of chain, rack, whatever. You don't need a rack. You can put these chains up over a beam, you know that. If you've got a bar, you can put it anywhere. If you have dipping bars or two, two kitchen chairs, you can use them for dips. This is what I use. Try this. This is going to be an interesting one. Let me know how you make out. Thank you.